Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Janani Vignesh YouTube channel. Let's see the female reproductive organ, the uterus. Let's see the parts of the uterus. You have the uterus, the fallopian tube and ovaries on either side, the cervix and the vagina. The uterus is located in the female pelvis. It is situated in such a way that it has the urinary bladder in front and rectum behind. The normal position of the uterus is antiverted and antiflexion. The angle of antiflexion is that the long axis of the uterus is bent forward over the long axis of the cervix. The angle of antiversion is that the long axis of the uterus is tilted over the long axis of the vagina. This is the normal position of the uterus. The uterus consists of the fundus, the body and the cervix. The fundus is the uppermost and widest part of the uterus. It connects it to the fallopian tube. The body of the uterus is also called as the corpus uteri. This is where the fertilized egg implants during pregnancy. The cervix. It is the lowermost part of the uterus. It acts as a canal between the uterus and the vagina. It allows the menstrual blood and the baby to pass from uterus into the vagina. The uterus consists of three layers. The endometrium, myometrium and the serosa. This endometrium is the inner lining of the uterus. This layer sheds during menstruation. The implantation and maintenance of pregnancy occurs in this layer. Next is the myometrium. The myometrium is the middle layer of the uterus. This is a thick muscle wall that expands during pregnancy to hold the growing baby. This layer contracts during labor to push the baby out of the uterus. Next is the serosa. It is also called as a perimetrium. This perimetrium is the outermost lining of the uterus. It secretes a lubricant fluid that helps to reduce friction. It's also a part of the peritoneum. Hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.